What's up, everyone? It's Tech Trooper 64 and unfortunately, I have some very, very bad news. Now, I talked about this for a little bit, and I kind of uh, made, like, references about it and jokes about it, but now it looks like the console's life is finally over. What am I talking about? Well, PlayStation 3 is a console that has been loved uh, by many users, a total of 80 plus users. Uh, the console is still played to this day. It still has a lot of users and all that. However, Sony in Japan has officially confirmed that the PlayStation 3 is being discontinued as of today, March 17th, 2017. It's the end of an era in Japan as PlayStation 3 production will be stopping in the country after nine years of success. Sony has also implied that the production of the PlayStation 3 will be discontinued on the other side of the Pacific. So that, in, so that implies that the West, in other words, North America, Europe, you will not be able to be picking up a PlayStation 3 anymore. Now, I actually made a prediction uh, off camera, obviously, and off YouTube with my sister. Uh, we were talking about video games, and I was saying that I have a theory that by the end of 2017, it's going to be almost impossible to buy a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360 game in, in stores anymore. And we really see them still a lot, but I don't think it's going to happen by the end of the year. I think it's going to be gone. But this is kind of sad. I do feel like it is an end of an era because in the, in the West, it's been 11 years that the PS3 has been on the market. And what's funny is, is that if you guys watch my PS3 Super Slim unboxing, which I'll leave a link in the description below, uh, I even found one brand new. That's how I did the unboxing. I bought a brand new PlayStation 3 Super Slim at Toys R Us. So it's like they were still making them. <laughs> Um, I'm assuming Sony was still making money out of them, but I'm assuming that this is mostly because they want to really uh, join with Microsoft in the sense that they want to uh, make sure gamers go ahead and jump into the next generation. I think what's happening is, is that Sony is realizing that the people who own PS4 right now um, are people who are... who are on other consoles previously and they replace their older consoles now but then they still have these people on playstation 3 that are still playing on playstation 3 and i think sony realizes that and they're like listen we got to get these guys on our platform asap and like what's interesting is that i have a roommate who's my best friend but he has a habit of not buying consoles and I don't know why, but he just doesn't. Like, when he wants to play a game, he waits until someone buys it on his birthday. And let me tell you, I bought him a PS4 Slim on his birthday. However, I'm gar almost 100% guaranteed if I did not buy him a PS4 on his birthday, he would have never bought one. And he's been playing on PS3 for the longest time. So that's what I mean. It's just those people on PS3. I think Sony's going to start dropping the hammer later this year i think um if it's true what this statement is saying that they are going to discontinue it in other places like there is the statement's true that it's being discontinued in japan but it didn't say in other regions it's being implied and if it's true i think sony's going to discontinue the ps3 sometime this year and i don't want to say this but i wouldn't be shocked either to see that they would discontinue the online service for the ps3 as well anyway guys that's what i think personally but let me know what you think in the comments down below be sure to rate comment favor and subscribe and hey why don't you tell me in, in the comments down below what are your fondest playstation 3 memories now that the console is essentially dead i'll see you guys next time peace